How she looks good matte black. Cause damn, how would she look white? We got some issues with the wrap. So today, we're just gonna unwrap it. Everyone, I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. Been real busy, got a couple of different things going on in life. Got a career change coming, this, that, and the other. Been a little busy. No fault of my own, but let's get back to some content. I plan on uh, getting kind of back into the, the swing of things. I know this video ain't going to get many views. That's cool. I have noticed in the algorithms and social media that a lot of people don't really like the Mercedes. That is also fine. That's your prerogative. I love it. I'm having a ball. Um, turbos hit different. That's, that's for damn sure. Turbos hit way different. This car is quick. We've already had to put a new set of tires on. We went from the Yokohama... V601 Advance to the DSW Sport Pluses. We got a winter coming to Texas. It's going to get a little wild. If it's anything like last year, you know it'll get wild. But one of the big things that we've been doing with this car is we've been learning how to make it our own because obviously the last owner had his own taste. He went a little wild with a couple of things. We've already taken off quite a few things. Burger Motorsports intake was just crap. We took that off. We took off the meth system and we took off their intake system. And now we have a ZAC Motorsports carbon intake system on here. Car is doing fabulous. We do still have a check engine light because our downstream O2 sensors need a simulator or tuned out or something like that. But with the Brabus B4600 package on here, I can't uh, tune that out, which is a little annoying. But if you've ever modified a car in your entire life, you know that you're gonna live with a check engine light at least one point. And that's what we're doing now, but she is driving fantastic. But one of the big things that this car's had an issue with since we picked it up is the wrap, which while very good, has had issues. So let's go through some of those issues and then we'll get done wrapping the car. So first, if you look close, the amount of rock chips are just in, it's insane. Like everywhere. Um, one of the things this company that did it, and they did a fantastic job, but they wrapped the radar sensors on here, which caused this car to go into a bit of a freak out. It is what it is. I mean, I'm sure there was no way of getting around it because the color underneath the car is Designo Metallic White. Um, so that would stick out hard against black. Now, some of the other trouble areas are like over here. Might be hard to catch on camera, but ugh, how can we catch it? Right there, there's major scuffing all through here. Um, it just, it doesn't look good. So we think it's time. Plus there's little areas like back here across the window. Right there, the seam is starting to come out a little bit. It is what it is, nothing crazy. There's some lines in it. I mean, overall, while I was in transport to Texas, it just wasn't taken care of very well. So, we're going to take it off. And I mean, just like the last car with the dip, obviously we had some issues there with the dip where it, uh, it just couldn't get it all off of Valkyrie. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure SS Low 6 is still dealing with that. Like, right there. Yeah. There's another radar piece. So, a lot of the trim pieces on here, like these back here, the AMG and the C63 stuff, that's on top of the wrap. That's fine. It is what it is. If we have to be without that for a second, cool. They did it around the Brabus logo, and you could tell because see a little bit of white back there? That means they cut to go around it. Cool. And they did the same thing around most of this, so... You can see white right there with the spoiler. We'll be able to pull it all back off here. We'll have to take off the license plate, which if you've ever done a European license plate, there's a lot of stuff going on back there. But yeah, let's get the lady out here and uh, let's get done wrapping. Before she gets out here and we get done wrapping, I want to show you some of the spots where it's just exceedingly good. Uh, whatever wrap shop did this before, I'll find their stuff on the previous owner's page and I'll tag them below, but not often do you see where they do the door jams. Like, look at this. There's the color of the car right there. Look at the door jams. Now we have one little spot down there. So it come undone. It is what it is. But I mean, they they kill it. Like it's in insane quality all the way through. All this is white. So what it's gonna be is us finding seams to be able to take all this stuff off. Slowly but surely, I mean I know it's not gonna be easy, but hey, it's gotta be done. Plus, let's be honest too gonna say it somebody's not gonna like it but matte black wrap it's getting played out everybody and their mom was doing it can't really stand it plus with the matte wrap on here you can't really see the carbon fiber and i mean if you're gonna have this much carbon fiber you gotta show it off right so let's do that if you're gonna unwrap a car like this what is gonna be the most satisfying piece to unwrap the hood so let's work on that first as we open oh ho, ho. what's up girl anyway see underneath here white it's all white underneath here 
and they literally just folded it around the edges so it should be pretty easy to get it started yeah need two hands though hold on yeah that's why it take a little longer than it looks this stuff's sticky so I just had to remove the little bee from the hood right just doing like that I wish you guys could feel how heavy this thing is like it doesn't really make sense quality and bow Brabus tuxedo edition what's up baby all right so we're out here making effort getting it done everything that i just said nice about that wrap company i take back there's nothing worse when wrapping or dipping a car than bad preparation am i wrong yeah. preparation is everything how you tape things off how you wrap things cleaning <sighs> cleaning that's horrible so old girl's gonna need a pink correction it is what it is but we got a pearl in the sun whoo boy so i'm sure as you can see behind me it's going well cat is over there she's just ocd'ing it up right now this company whoever you were i'm not gonna shot you out because your prep was trash the car is dirty there's adhesive promoter all over it she's gonna need a serious bath um, but we had to move her inside, which is a little annoying. Yes, the badges. There's some other stuff on the way. But we had to come inside because, well, Texas had uh, other plans. And what do I mean? We're not even supposed to get rain today. What do I mean about things they didn't even need to wrap? I have to take off the door catches because they took them off and wrapped underneath them. What sort of things you've had to do besides, baby? You're very cute with grease all over your face. I don't You're know where the from. grease came from, but grease. Who knows? The inside of all of this. Yeah, all the pl rubber plugs had to be undone. Yeah. They took the doors off and wrapped underneath the hinges. The hinges. For the doors. I'm not taking the doors off. I'm damn sure not. So, end of uh, night one. We have a ridiculous amount of like crevice. We still need to clean up. Obviously, we still have a door to do. I mean, we got piles and piles and piles of just vinyl absolutely everywhere. But if you can look right, like in the shadows on there, see all the like cloudiness on that? That's all adhesive promoter. Yeah, that's not gonna be fun. So this thing will be getting a rubbing alcohol bath before it gets uh, pink rampant or pink lemon before it gets pink corrected and ceramic coated <sighs> she looks good white she she damn sure does but this is fucking ridiculous day two cleaning up some things we got the lights out we cleaned up around the lights which i told you guys last night was a pain in the ass most of the seams we got some stuff we can't really get out which is a pain in my ass but we're not worried about that today but details the one thing Mercedes has got down is details. Details are everything with this car. We had to take the whole tweeter system right there in the door out to be able to get this piece off in order to get the wrap off, right? What did you find? Your tweeters have a Mercedes logo. You can't even see it. It's underneath this cover. <laughs> like, why? Details, baby. Details. Baby. By the way, this shit's... Oh... Paint is the way to go. <laughs> uh, any kind of non-paint modulation of uh, appearance, I don't think I'm a fan of anymore. Or I'm a fan of it and I'm just gonna pay somebody else to take it off because yeah. All right, so as you guys know, I'm very mm, about companies I deal with because well, we've had some crazy relationships in the past. So I'm gonna hand the phone to him. I'm gonna let him introduce himself and I'm gonna let him tell you what he thinks about the car, what he thinks we're gonna be able to do to the car, and if it was as bad as I was getting frustrated with. So here, go nuts. Hey, what's going on? My name is Brandon. I uh, work with Fine Lab, uh, is our main company uh, as far as ceramic protection. Uh, took a look at the car. It's not as bad as it looks. I know he thinks it is. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, it's not, it's not. So we're gonna be able to handle this. We've actually already done, and I'll let him show you that. We've done a little test pass on it, uh, worked on the hood a little bit. Got a little bit more work to do, and we're going to put it into a custom paint shop, uh, match it up real well for the Bravis paint, and um, and get them right. But essentially what we're going to do is just get them back to the way it should be, and the way the car should have been delivered, uh, and then we'll go from there as far as protection uh, past ceramics. 
but I can tell you this much, it's, it's good. Um, I love the paint. It's easy to work with. Um, and short of just a few little hiccups, we will be able to take care of it. So. so the science that he was explaining to me was the discoloring we were talking about with the rear bumper. I was freaking out like, oh my God, it's a completely different color, this, that, and the other. These, these are replacement bumpers. Has the car been crashed? These are the things that go through my mind. I know the car's been crashed. If with a car like this, I mean, you're going to know. It's going to be very obvious. Plus, you're going to see the repair bill on uh, Carfax because Jesus Christ. But I was told that the amount of adhesive promoter that the company that we will not name used to wrap this car, it affects materials differently. So you got plastic versus metal. The metal on the car looks fine. There's a lot there's he's going to be able to fix up, blend in. But the plastic, it changed, what would you say, molecularly? Blah, blah, blah. If well, that's even a way to put well, the it. The way that it works essentially is that whenever you have um, the adhesive behind it, even after you've removed it, you can get discolorations from wraps, uh, from the backing, from the adhesive, from the wrap itself just being on too long. Um, as far as that, that's easy to take out. Mm -hmm. um, what we have on the front end, it, it's not so much. You can't just leave it out in the heat like you would for an actual. You mean you don't want process. you don't want adhesive promoter in Texas sun all day long with a. A black wrap that just pulls in heat? That's, no. that's not great for cars? No. Oh. Uh, it's not. Um, <laughs> I think people maybe oversell PPF and wraps just, just, just a just, wee just bit. Just a tad. Uh, but it'll be taken care of. I'm looking forward to it. So, walk them through. All right. So, <laughs> as far as the paint, you can it. tell, we've got a lot to work with. There's some orange peel. A lot of detailers and a lot of uh, protection installers. They like to whittle this down and make a flat plane and get a perfect contact angle for shot. We don't do that. That's a no-go. We race. We play with our cars. We want as much orange peel on there as they'll allow us. Because if you know we flatten it out and then we skip a rock off it, what's the? Or you're behind a car at a track that does a burnout and slings yeah. a rock because they don't clean Absolutely. their tires correctly. Mopar people. <laughs> 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 but honestly, uh, you know, it's in good condition. Um, and I'm pretty happy with what we, what we got. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So, there it is, guys. Obviously, I was freaking out. We all saw that. I was getting frustrated. The video had a little bit of an abrupt end before we got here. But my guy's going to get me taken care of. So, we're going to schedule out of time to make sure that we go get the bumpers touched up. The reason why that adhesive promoter actually came through, did a little bit of damage, and it actually changed the color content. Just a tad. Now, to the average person, whatever. They're barely gonna care. It, Brandon will tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm a little OCD. I was pointing out stuff that didn't even matter. We gotta get everything matching. So, that's coming off, and then right here in the back, there's a slight color deviation. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see it on camera. Right there, plus a little bit of wrap still in the crease. That's coming off, get everything blended correctly, and we'll get back on the road, terrorize another Mopar, I mean, you know, uh, cars. Yeah. Terrorizing cars, that's, that's, what, that's what we do. All right, now we're back uh, back home. We gave it a day or so to cure, and just, yeah, I think I'm a believer. So, make sure you go check out my guy's company. Thanks, Brandon, I appreciate everything you're doing, buddy. And we will uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, like, share, subscribe. If you've been here for a while, do me a favor. Drop a comment below. Tell me where you're at. I'm interested in seeing where all my people are. YouTube only tells me so much about demographics, so I kind of want to get to go, get to know you guys a little bit more. So if you find the opportunity, leave a comment. I appreciate it all, y'all. Stay savage.